And the other thing I was thinking about doing is these holes should be filled up. And I'm thinking about using tag plates. I've done that before. Put tag plates up on that. Shoot some little screws into them. Let me go get me some. In fact, maybe I ought to push that back in the shade in here and I can work on that without being out in the hot sun. sent me a video. I had to put y'all on hold while I respond to him. He's trying to identify a frame and an axle. I'll be right back. I'm waiting for him. I wanted to show you my toolbox. I was in the uh, antique store this morning and they had this one. It's uh, it's small enough. You know, remember the other day I set a toolbox on this and it wouldn't fit, but this one's small enough so it fits right in there. And it's right full of stuff. And I don't even know what all's in it yet. I uh, started looking through it. I see that's small enough where it'll go open and I can get the lid out up or I guess if that went all the way back this would open further. That's got that's got stuff in it. I don't even know what all's in there. Maybe I ought to he ought to pull it out from the ground or I can open it all the way up. Oh yeah see when she opens all the way up she looks like that. So what do we got here? Well right well I see that those things are nice and uh, if that works we got one of them we got one of these there's an old socket an old ratchet wrench and uh, things like this and that and this and i was looking for something like an ice pick oh it's a screwdriver okay screwdriver I bet these spark plugs are better than the new ones you can buy today. And these things here, now these look like the kind of things you, you slide in behind a, a door handle on a car to get the window cranks off. And an old, old fashioned bottle opener here. And look at this, this is the beginning of a Studebaker sign. It's a stew. Huh, that's a treasure, a little treasure right there. I don't know if my knees are going to let me get up or not. And here's a feeler gauge. And a, it looks like a 7 6 things. Oh, treasures. This is a... This is one of these. Only smaller. <laughs> anyway. That's a good little box. 
and it fits. I might need to. I might need to get it freed up so that it looks good. But it fits right in my little spot there. slick and everything. Well, I wouldn't use the word slick. Probably it's not slick. But it's still neat. It's kind of good there. Maybe I devise a way to scratch it on there. Rub it down with some oil or something. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. And I'm gonna take a little, uh, getting back to this toolbox, I'm gonna take a little turpentine and and, uh, and linseed oil and rub on that to kind of stop it from rusting and preserve it and such as that. So I'm gonna take and uh, wipe down this toolbox with some turpentine oil and then we'll uh, set it up on the front like I had it yesterday So I took a picture of this name on the handle. This is the Hamilton Metal Company out of Hamilton, Ohio. This is a Climax. I'm not making that up. It's right there. It's a Climax Toolbox. And it has on the front of it an old measuring tape painted right on the box <laughs> the Hamilton products company Hamilton Ohio and it's called climax it's climax toolbox <laughs> I love that that's sweet I like that a whole lot and that's going to be <coughs> going to be going right on the front of this thing uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fashion up a way to lock it on there so somebody can't pick it up and walk off with it. Uh, yeah, that's, that's the look right there. I oughta, while I got that rag out, go ahead and work on these fenders. I was gonna put some, some oil on them too. So, let's just do that right quick. Especially this one, it's got that pretty, uh, that really pretty patina. I want to mix me up some more of this stuff. Oh, the joy. Thank you. 
Alright, let's give her a little walk around. I'll get a paintbrush later and get some of that stuff up inside them wheels. Yes, sir.